Clinical psychologist Jenny Perkle has worked extensively in this field and has published, amongst other things, the book Babies in Mind. She will do a talk on working therapeutically with infants, young children and their parents. The talk will look at the value of early interventions, how to deal with parents, what are some of the problems that children present with and how you as the therapist can help. So the first section that I'm going to be talking to you about is called Why Early Intervention? So I think it's clear that most if not all psychologists really do believe that the earlier you intervene the better. And I suppose it's because in the early weeks and months and even the first few years of a child's life, when you make small shifts in the parents' attitudes and in uh, the relationships between the parent and the child and in the child itself, it actually goes a long way often to changing the whole trajectory of a child's development, much more so than when you intervene later in a child's life or obviously in adult years where it can take years for anything to change. So actually most psychologists are really keen on the idea of early intervention, you know, infancy and early childhood, particularly from a psychoanalytic perspective, are really seen to be the foundation of mental health. There's a nice quote by um, a man called Frederick Douglass that you might have heard, and it goes like this, it's easier to build strong children than to repair broken men, or women, of course. And, um, and um, it brings me to another thought also um, about the importance of making these kinds of changes early on. There's a, a, a person, Professor, Professor uh, Arnold Samaroff, he's a pre professor of child psychiatry from the USA, and he, um, he talks about something called the dynamic cascade model of substance abuse, but it's not really, it's not just about substance abuse, it's about psychiatric or psychological conditions on a broader scale. And um, so if you, if you think about it in that level, um, what he says is the best predictor of substance abuse or any kind of mental condition is adolescent peer problems. The best predictor of adolescent peer problems is adolescent parenting problems. The best predictor of adolescent parenting problems, child peer problems. The best predictor of child peer problems, early behavioral problems. The best predictor of early behavioral problems, early parental problems. So from his perspective, um, when you intervene at that level, the early parental problems, that has an impact on each of those layers, which in turn, um, um, you know, influences mental health, substance abuse, but mental health in general, you know, of, uh, of teenagers, school-going children and adults. Um,